Matt's an extremely loyal person. He's an extremely passionate person. He really cares about his hometown and he cares a lot about his friends and his family. He's candid, he is, he's really bright, but he's just a real person. He's one of the few people today in business or outside of business that truly speaks their mind. He's extremely passionate, he has a point of view and he's gonna share it. He says what he thinks, he doesn't sugarcoat it, but he says it in a way that you respect and appreciate it. I grew up on the east side of Detroit, uh, born and raised, and it really followed my father's lead. My father was a big um, volunteer for almost everything from Special Olympics to Habitat for Humanity to the CYO. He was always giving back and I thought he set a great example for me. He grew up in this city and he saw everything that's gone on in the city of Detroit. So being able to get to where he's gotten at Lear Corporation, he's never forgotten his roots. And so he gives back. The enjoyment in life that I get, and I know many that work with me at Lear Corporation get, knowing that we're giving back to the communities that we're involved in or live in, and helping those that are less fortunate, that provides a certain joy that's hard to even put in words. What is he not involved in? I've been on multiple boards with him, and it's amazing sitting in a boardroom with Matt. He just thinks big, bigger than most people. He puts it out there, and then he rallies people to join him in this. He has his roots here in downtown, and he wants to be a part of that, and he wants to leave a legacy there. They just brought down, as you know, two buildings downtown Detroit, which is absolutely incredible, and he's, he's very passionate about that. He's also, through his own efforts, worked on, on improving recreation in the city of Detroit. For kids, again, he, he knew how important recreation was for him as a kid, and he hasn't forgotten it. I love seeing the kids uh, enjoy themselves, because I think back to my childhood in the city of Detroit, and I, I, I lived through the best of times and the worst of times, the boom years in the 60s, and then the bust years in the 70s. And I remember the enjoyment of going downtown, the Hudson's parades. He's very engaged in the prank company, so Lear has probably the largest, if not one of the largest, floats in the parade. He wants to entertain millions of children and their families. And so he does that because it's a way, again, to help kids put smiles on their face. I have a wide range of um, organizations I'm involved in, whether it's uh, Wayne State leading their foundation board, um, United Way, Downtown Detroit Partnership, Focus Hope, or the one that has my heart, which is the Michigan Opera Theater. Um, all great institutions, all providing different services to the community, and all provide, I think, a certain enjoyment to me personally. He's actually done a, a great job in starting a diversity program um, at Lear. He treats every person with respect and understands that we all have a story and he seeks to understand their story. He does the same thing at his company. Strength to me in an organization comes in the diversity, diversity of thought, diversity of experiences, diversity of culture. And to me, the more you have a broader base opinion and experience level, the stronger your company will be. I think that we can learn from Matt the importance of family and friends, we can um, learn the importance of community. And just because you don't know somebody doesn't mean that they're not part of, of who we are and where we live. The real leader is Mona. She really is a big part of, of Matt in terms of all the things that you see here. It's a family that's like that. Let me tell you a story from Mona, his wife, and then I'm gonna tell you one from Sydney, his daughter. So Mona would say that his probably his biggest hobby is golf and he plays golf like it's a contact sport so that's probably the reason he's never asked me to golf with him and what his daughter would say is that he is passionate about music so he taught himself to play the guitar he writes his own music Matt actually is, has a great voice he wrote a, a beautiful song that, that the whole football team used to sing on the way back from Bishop Gallagher games about horses of all things what I probably learned most from Matt Simoncini was my vocabulary. He could, have, he could have been a professor. 
He's just so eloquent in the way that he communicates and the words that he uses. For everything that Matt does in terms of giving, there's three other things he did that you have no clue about and that he doesn't want you to know about. And he's embarrassed when people find out about. That's just who he is. He's a hero in that he runs to people to help them in good times and in bad. That's, that's the epitome of being a humanitarian. I want to thank the Michigan Roundtable uh, for this because coming from my hometown, honoring the work that was done in this community, I can't think of a higher honor.